the Philippines holds a special place in one featherweight world champion Martin Guyon's heart. Man, it's Thrilla in Manila Part 4 for me. Every time I'm here, it's like a main event or a major fight, expressed Nguyen, 11-3, during the press conference for one, Roots of Honor, which will see him take on former featherweight kingpin Narantungal Agjadambit, 14-5. It's always a blessing to be here. The Vietnamese-Australian mixed martial artist first stepped foot in the Philippines back in April of 2016, knocking out Kai Wen Lee in his seventh career bout. Little did he expect that some of his biggest bouts would be held at the SM Mall of Asia Arena a few years later. Back in one, Legends of the World held last November of 2017, Nguyen became a two-division mixed martial arts champion after silencing Edward Falang. Then in July 2018, during one, Reign of Kings, Nguyen tried to go for a hat-trick as he gunned for a third belt. However, Kevin Balingan stopped him in his tracks to win the interim one bantamweight world championship. With him reaching several milestones in Manila, the 30-year-old is pondering on moving full-time to the Philippines, a piece of advice given to him by one heavyweight world champion Brandon Vera during the One Elite Athlete Retreat last week in Thailand. It's a true blessing to come back to the Philippines. This is my fourth event in the Philippines, shared Nguyen, who had to vacate the one lightweight world championship late last year. I'm seriously considering what Brandon Vera told me in Japan, which is to get a citizenship here. Besides having achieved a lot in the Philippines, Nguyen's sister is married to a Filipino. Little does anyone know, but my sister is married to a Filipino, so I know the Filipino vibes. It's just a blessing to be here, he continued. Though it's just one of his plans in the pipeline, Nguyen is laser focused on the task at hand to successfully defend his crown against the legendary Thai Muay Thai artist Jadamba. Today, I'm only worried about Jadamba and my legacy. And if he's successful, he might fully consider moving here as he crosses another milestone off his bucket list in Manila.